Hello friends, from this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to make CRUD REST API in CodeIgniter, step by step. If you want to learn how to make, your own REST API in CodeIgniter, for create REST web services, then you tutorial series, will help you. Because from this video, tutorial, we will discuss how to make REST API service for insert, update, delete data, by using REST API HTTP method like get, put, post and delete. There are many uses of web REST API like, suppose your website data can be used in any other website, you want to make mobile application, then this REST API has been used. Here we will not use any library for make REST API, but we will make API controller from scratch, you beginner level of CodeIgniter programmer can learn, how to make REST API service in CodeIgniter. Now let's, start discussing this topic so here we have divide this tutorial series in four part in first part we will see how to get data from api and display on web page in table format in second part we will discuss how to insert data using api in third part we will discuss how to update data using RESTful API service, and in fourth part, we will discuss, how to delete data using API in CodeIgniter framework. This is our testing database, in this we have one sample table, we will perform CRUD operation using CodeIgniter API on this table. This is our CodeIgniter working folder, First we have go to config folder, and open config.php file, and under this file, we have defined base URL of this tutorial. After this, we want to make database connection, so we have open database.php file, and under this file, we have defined MySQL database configuration like, host name set to local host, database name set to testing, username set to root, and password set to blank. Under controller folder, we have make two controller file like api.php and test api.php, we will make api under api.php, and from test api.php file, we will test api functionality. In models, folder we have create on api model.php file, for database operation, and api view file we will use for display html output on web page. First, we want to display, samples table data on web page using api so we have go to test api controller we will use this controller for access api under this class we have make index method this is the root method of this class under this we have write dollar this with load object with view method, under this, we have write API view, it will load API view file, on web page. Now we have go to API view.php view file, and under this file, we have use jQuery and bootstrap library link. Under this file, we have create one HTML table with four table column like, first name, last name, edit and delete, 
and for fill table with data, here we have also create on table body tag. Now we have moved to write jQuery code, so here we have make fetch data function, this function will display sample table data on web page, by using API services. Under this function, we have start write ajax request, so in this first we have write url option, and here we have write base url function, with test api slash, action, it will send request to action method of test api class. In second option, we have write method, and here we have use post method, for send data to server. In third option, we have write data option, here we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have defined data action variable, with value fetch all send to server. Lastly, we have write success callback function, this function has been called if ajax request completed successfully, and it will receive data from ajax request. Under this function, we have write dollar, with table body tag, with html method, and under this we have write data, this function will fill table with data. Now we have called this function, so here we have write fetch data function, so when page has been load, this function has been called and, it will display samples table data on web page, by using API. Now we have go to test API controller, and here we have make action method, this method will receive ajax request. Under this, method, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar this with, input object with post method, and under this we have write data action, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar data action variable is equal to, dollar this, with input object with post method, and under this we have write data action, so here we have store this value in local variable. Now again write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar data action variable is equal to, fetch all, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar API URL variable is equal to localhost slash tutorial slash code igniter folder name slash API controller. This is API URL for fetch all samples data in JSON format. Now we have write dollar client variable is equal to curl init method, and under this we have write dollar API URL variable, it will init curl resource. After this, we have write, curl set option function with three argument like, dollar client variable, curl option return transfer, and true, it will set return data type JSON. Below this, we have write dollar response variable is equal to curl execute function, and under this we have write dollar client variable, it will execute request, and it will receive data in JSON format, which has been stored under this dollar response variable. Now we have write curl close function. And under this we have write dollar client variable, 
it will close curl resource. After receive data in JSON format, now we want to convert into PHP array, so here we have write dollar result variable is equal to JSON decode function with dollar response variable, it will convert JSON string to PHP array. Now, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write, count function with dollar result variable value greater than zero, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write for each loop, and under condition, we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar output variable, and under this we have append HTML code like open and close table row tag, and under this we have create for table data tag. In first table column, we want to display first name, so here we have write dollar row variable with first name object. In second column, we want to display last name, so here we have write dollar row variable with last name as object. In third column, we want to make edit button, so here we have write button tag with type is equal to button, name is equal to edit, class is equal to edit, we will use this class as selector in jQuery code. After this, we have write id attribute is equal to, dollar $row, with id object, this value we will use for edit data, and in button text, we have write edit. Same way in last column, we want to make delete button, so here we have write button tag, with type is equal to button, name is equal to delete, class is equal to delete, we will use this class as selector in jQuery code. After this, we have write id attribute is equal to, dollar $row, with id object. This value we will use for delete data, and in button text, we have write delete. This way, we have convert sample table data, into HTML table format, now we want to send Ajax request, here we have write echo statement, with dollar $output variable, it will display data on web page. Now we have go to API controller class for make API for fetch all sample table data, and here we want to make API for send all samples data. Under this class, first we have write, construct magic function, this function has been called, if new object of this class has been created. Under this function, we have again write parent class, with construct magic function, this function will called parent class, construct function. After this, we have write dollar this, with load object with model method, and under this we have write API model, it will load API model, when object of this class has been created. Now for load form validation library, here we have write, dollar this with load object, with library method, and under this, we have write form validation. After this, we have make index method, this method we will use for send all samples data, in JSON format. Under this function, we have write dollar data variable is equal to dollar this with api model with fetch all method 
This method will return samples table query execution result. Now, we have go to API model class, and here we have make fetch all method. Under this, we have write dollar this, with database object, with order by method, and under this we have write, id table column and descending order, this method will add order by clause in select query. Below this, we have write return statement with, dollar this with database object, with get method, and under this we have write sample table, it will make select query, and execute query, and return query execution result. Now, we have go to API controller index method, and here we have write echo statement, with JSON encode method, under this method we have write dollar variable, with result array method. Here result array method, with return query execution result into array format, and by using JSON encode method, it will convert into JSON format, which is any output of this API index method. So here our code is ready, now we have check output in browser. Friends, here in browser, we have enter base URL, slash test API, so here we have directly hit the index method of test API controller, which has load API view file on web page. Under this API view file, which has trigger Ajax request, which has send request to action method of test API controller class. In action method, it has checked the value of data action variable, if that variable value is equal to fetch all, then it has called the API class, for fetch samples table data. It has received data in JSON format form API, and convert into HTML table format, and send back to Ajax request, which has been display on web page. Here when we have directly, called API for get all data from samples table, then here on web page, we can see samples table all data in JSON format. Here in this part, we have seen how to get all data from MYSQL table, and display on web page using API, now in next part, we will see how to insert data into MYSQL table, by using REST API service in CodeIgniter framework. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, Please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.